I'm Marin, and this is Post-its and Pens. Hello everyone, welcome to another teaching related video. I have not vlogged the last couple of weeks. I had conferences and just didn't feel like vlogging that week. And then the week that I'm currently filming this is only a three day week. So instead of doing a vlog, I thought I would do my classroom tour. So I wanted to give you a look at my realistic kindergarten classroom for the 2021-22 school year couple of things before I show you around. Um, I did not really clean up the classroom, so there's stuff on the table that my students left. I'm not going to clean that up for this video. I'm just kind of going to show you what it's really like in here. So let's go ahead and roll on into my classroom tour. Okay, so I am going to do a quick overview like I'll give you a scan and then I will walk you around and show you things a little bit more in depth. So here is that quick overview. door is right over here but I have my students names on it so I'm not going to show you that I used Miss Jacobs Little Learners uh, door display it says we are a rainbow of possibilities I'll link it down below but when you come this way this is where they hang their backpacks I did find this artwork on Amazon if I can find them i will link them down below but basically that's what they look like and then i'll spin you around very quickly so this is the front facing view so this is where they hang up their things i do have a poster right here that tells them what to do it matches the one on my smart board when they come in so i do have two little chairs that they can sit in. This is where we return our books. My book hospital's at the top. You can see I haven't bothered to fix any of those. Real life, y'all. Their book boxes down here is books that I have read to them if they want to read those. And then this is my little library area right here. So I do have leveled books. And then I have books sorted by topic. So I will zoom you on in so you can see them. So here are the ones sorted by topic. I will link the labels down below. I did make the Mo Willems one and I made the favorite authors one. So those are not in the pack. And then I also made the leveled library labels. So that is just what it looks like. As you can see, I did not bother to change the sign. My students got sanitizer all over the top of the bookcase there that I haven't cleaned up. But again, real life, y'all. Then we have my Chromebook cart here, and then my teacher table, which is also not super neat. These are the poetry readers I need to put together. But this is what my little corner of the room looks like. I do have my desk over here. And my teacher toolbox, my picture from a supernatural convention with a friend, and then a whole bunch of stuff down here that I don't know what to do with, which is why it's under the desk. Okay, moving sideways. This is where I have my small group stuff. We have not started small groups yet. We're going to start those next week. So this is all of my curriculum that I just keep on a shelf, various binders, my daily drawers, and then we get into centers. So this is the word work center. These are all of the bins. So they just look like this basically. Someone lost the crayons that are supposed to be in there. Ah, there they are. I told you, real life. And yeah, I assign a bin that they work on. And that's what they do. They turn their work in here. These are the old letter cards from the first edition of Being a Reader. We're not using those. We're using the new ones. But I thought I'd leave them up there for the Word Work Center. 
And then I am planning on getting some cookie sheets or something to hang here so that they can do magnetic letters. I just haven't done it, y'all. I have a friend who can't handle sitting with anybody else, so they sit by themselves. And then I have my objectives board. Okay, so I did make all this myself. So the letters are from a Miss Jacobs Little Learners pack, but I made the objective things. So I just write the objectives on there. And then we have a look at our little writing center right here. So I do have our writer's workshop poster. I have some words that they might wanna use in their writing. Over here is where I have various assignments, supply boxes, little wobble cushions, their turn-in bin, and then supplies they can use. So that is just what we use for writing. And then they can also use these lap desks right here. Coming over to the far corner away from the door, that's where I have our calendar. We don't really use that calendar. We use one on our smart board every morning. It's the 50th day of school today. I have not updated that. And this is just pretty much where I teach from if I need to use the smart board. So that's what that looks like. Underneath of the desk, you can see a whole mess of cords. Again, real life. And then these bins I got from the Target Dollar Spot and they just hold our various math materials. Okay, here's a look at the front of the room. These are our spark traits down here. That's our, um, like our traits that we want our students to show at school. A look at my front board. I have the date, some whole brain teaching things, our schedule, our rules, and then voice levels. I have not started Secret Student, but we are earning our puzzle pieces for a secret award puzzle. A reminder about how they're supposed to wear their masks because we are wearing masks. And then the alphabet is also from Miss Jacobs Little Learners. I have a birthday display over here. I will link that down below. I'm not gonna get close. That has their names on it again. And then just a variety of things on the easel right here that we use to just remind them how to function as human beings. And yeah. So we are not allowed to have like soft surfaces in our room or we're not supposed to. I snuck some pillows in, you can see behind me. So I don't have a carpet, I have like foam mats that the kids sit on, so I've written their names on them. It's not ideal, y'all. I really miss my rug, so hopefully next year we can have that back, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, inside my easel you can see I have like a whole ton of random stuff again. I use some of it, some of it I don't. This is where I store our big books. We have big books along with our curriculum. I have a diffuser. And then over here, these were my morning tubs, but we don't have time to do that, unfortunately. So I use them instead for fun Friday time. I have extra crayons, things like that here. And then this is just what this little corner looks like. I just decorated that um, a little bit better here. Um, Sorry about that black square, but my students' names, you know. But yeah, so that's what that looks like. They keep their headphones here. So these are the vocabulary cards that go along with our curriculum, which haven't been updated because that's how I roll. And then my word wall is right here. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because I do have their names on them, but I have our sight words. And then I have like right here, you can see I've stuck number magnets on here. I found these in the Target dollar spot last year. So that's where those came from. And then I do have the students' names on there as well. Right here underneath of that is our little calm down corner. Y'all, this yoga mat has been beat to heck. It is nasty, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. And then we are back over here towards the door. I have their mailboxes. This is where I'm storing the cords to their Chromebooks. This is their cubbies where they hold their supply baskets and their various materials. And then we're back to the front door. So, or the only door, I should say. So that was just a very quick view of my classroom. I don't have a ton of stuff in here to really go super in depth on. Um, it's functional. It's probably not perfect. This is a fairly small classroom, so we do what we can with it. But 
yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you do have any questions about anything I showed, please let me know down in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. I will try to link what I can in the description in terms of like the alphabet, the door display, that kind of stuff. But if you would like to know where I got something, feel free to ask and I will answer. Other than that, I am going to go ahead and end this video. So I hope you enjoyed this classroom tour. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more, and I will see you in my next one. Bye everyone.